A transport link between the U.S. and Russia across the Bering Strait could become one of the greatest feats in engineering history. Just 82 kilometers of icy water separate Alaska and Russia at the strait's narrowest point, but building across this remote and unforgiving stretch presents extraordinary challenges. Proposals have ranged from bridges to tunnels with cost estimates soaring beyond $105 billion and more than 3,000 kilometers of supporting infrastructure required just to connect the nearest cities. Now, in this video, we're going to dive into the daunting logistics, geopolitical complexities, and environmental obstacles that have kept this ambitious vision out of reach for over a century. Will this dream ever become a reality, or is it destined to remain one of the most boldest yet unachievable projects in global infrastructure? Between the northeastern tip of Russia and the westernmost coast of Alaska lies the Bering Strait, a narrow 82-kilometer stretch of frigid water. For centuries, this icy divide has symbolized more than a geographical barrier. It represents a potential gateway connecting two continents with the promise of enhanced global trade and deeper diplomatic ties. Now, here's a fascinating fact. In the Bering Strait, just 3.8 kilometers separate the two islands. Little Diomede, part of the U.S., and Big Diomede, part of Russia. Despite this short distance, these islands lie in time zones that differ by 21 hours. Crossing between them is almost like stepping into the future. But why hasn't anyone ever built this visionary transport link? Located just south of the Arctic Circle, the strait faces brutal cold, turbulent seas and months of total darkness during winter. Ice flows, some as thick as two meters, constantly shift, creating an ever-present threat. And as if that weren't enough, powerful ocean currents and the looming threat of earthquakes make any attempt at construction here a nightmare. Are these forces truly beyond the reach of human capabilities? Or could there also be other reasons holding this vision back? Well, by the end of this video, you'll uncover the dark reality of why this transport link could even face devastating destruction in the chaos of war, turning a symbol of unity into a battlefield. To understand how this idea took shape, we need to look back in time. Believe it or not, the notion of linking the Russian province of Siberia and Alaska isn't a modern concept. It dates back centuries. As early as the 19th century, daring explorers and visionary engineers imagined a rail or road network bridging the Bering Sea, connecting two continents, in one of the most ambitious projects ever conceived. But what happened to this bold idea? Well, in 1892, a concrete plan for a rail link emerged, a massive undertaking stretching from Siberia to Alaska poised to unite the world's major land masses, North America and Asia. It was a vision that could change history, yet as promising as it seemed, the harsh realities of Arctic engineering, brutal weather, and geopolitical tensions brought it to a standstill. Decades later, renewed interest in the project resurfaced, this time with ideas of building a tunnel beneath the strait to facilitate trade and travel. A tunnel was thought to be a more feasible solution as it would be less exposed to the elements and require less maintenance than a bridge. Despite multiple proposals throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, none have ever reached the construction phase. By the early 2000s, discussions intensified as trade between Asia and North America grew, making a Bering Strait connection more appealing. Advocates argue that it could transport 3% of global freight, potentially generating $7 billion annually. So what would it take to actually bring this ambitious vision to life? And why exactly hasn't the project been realized yet? <laughs> Spanning about 82 kilometers, the crossing would likely be split into three segments, each anchored by the Diomede Islands in the middle of the Bering Strait. Sounds simple, right? Well, the water depths in the strait range from around 30 to 50 meters, but some sections plunge to nearly 90 meters, adding further complexity. 
but that's just the beginning. Engineers have suggested dividing the project into a series of bridges and tunnels, with the most favorable approach being a tunnel that runs directly between the two continents. The tunnel option is often considered more viable than a bridge due to the extreme conditions in the region, including powerful currents, massive ice flows, and unpredictable weather. As mentioned before, the main hurdle would be the icy conditions just below the Arctic Circle. To handle this, the tunnel or bridge design would need to incorporate innovative solutions such as cone-shaped supports that break apart ice flows rather than absorbing the impact. Similar techniques have been tested successfully in other parts of the world like the Confederation Bridge in Canada, providing a potential model for Bering Strait engineers. But the danger doesn't stop there. The Bering Strait lies near the Pacific Ring of Fire, a seismic hotspot prone to violent earthquakes. Engineers would face daunting challenges, not only from the harsh Arctic conditions, but also from the relentless forces of nature that could threaten the structural integrity of the tunnel. Could a tunnel withstand such forces? Engineers have proposed using pre-stressed concrete to build the tunnel, offering both flexibility and strength to withstand shocks up to 7.0 on the Richter scale. Yeah, this material, made by compressing steel tendons inside the concrete, combines the tensile strength of steel with the compressive strength of concrete, making it an optimal choice for this high-risk environment. But will even these solutions and techniques be enough to stand against nature's fiercest elements? Imagine yourself driving across a bridge or through a tunnel suspended above or beneath icy waters, feeling the vibration as two meter thick ice sheets slam into the support while tremors from the Pacific Ring of Fire rumble beneath you. So what would it actually cost to turn this vision into reality? Estimates suggest that the total expense for the crossing itself could reach as much as $105 billion. For comparison, this figure is five times the cost of the Channel Tunnel that links the UK and France. However, proponents argue that the potential economic benefits, including transporting 3% of global freight and generating $7 billion in annual revenue, could help recoup the investment within a decade. But the price tag is only one piece of this monumental puzzle. See, on the American side, over 1,200 kilometers of new roads and railways would be required to connect the remote Alaskan coast to existing transportation networks. Meanwhile, the situation on the Russian side is even more daunting with the nearest railway more than 2,000 kilometers away, underscoring the vast infrastructure gap that would need to be bridged bridged as well. Building in such remote and sparsely populated areas only adds to the challenge. The region surrounding the Bering Strait is largely uninhabited with sparse populations and minimal development on both sides. For instance, Alaska's Nome Consensus Area covers a vast expanse but is home to fewer than 10,000 people, making it one of the most isolated parts of the United States. The Russian side is even more underdeveloped, with limited infrastructure and harsh weather conditions further complicating construction efforts. To support such a massive project, a substantial influx of workers, materials, and equipment would be essential creating logistical bottlenecks and significantly driving up costs. Estimates place the price tag for the entire project between $1.5 trillion and over $3 trillion, equivalent to the GDP of countries like Canada or Brazil. This staggering cost raises an inevitable question. Is the potential payoff worth the enormous price, or does this vision demand too high a price? Political factors further complicate the feasibility of the Bering Strait crossing. Relations between the United States and Russia have been strained for decades, with recent geopolitical tensions only exasperating the issue and casting doubt 
on the project's viability. Adding to the complexity is China's potential role. As a global trade giant, China has strong incentives to support this link, which could open faster routes between Asia and North America. However, in the context of the ongoing U.S.-China trade war, China's involvement could heighten tensions, with the U.S. viewing China's financial and technical influence over such a strategic project as a potential national security threat. Furthermore, a bridge or tunnel across the Bering Strait would likely become a focal point in any future military conflict involving Russia, China, and the United States much like the current attacks by Ukraine on the Crimea Bridge, which underscore the strategic importance and vulnerability of large international construction links, a Bering Strait crossing would be at risk of becoming a target. Such a project could transform from a symbol of global connectivity into a flashpoint, its vast infrastructure vulnerable to attack and potentially amplifying the stakes in an already tense international landscape. Therefore, constructing a transcontinental bridge or tunnel would require unprecedented levels of cooperation between these two superpowers as well as China. Any agreement would have to address not only technical and logistical challenges, but also regulatory standards, safety measures, and security concerns. Even something as seemingly simple as standardizing railway gauge sizes across continents has proven to be a significant obstacle. Now, while most countries, including China and the U.S., use a standard 1,435 millimeter gauge, Russia uses a broader 1,520 millimeter gauge. This difference would require either a change in Russia's rail systems or a logistical workaround like advanced technology that allows for rapid cargo transfers or variable gauge axles. Now, these infrastructure demands come at a time when global economic priorities are shifting toward digital industries, green energy, and other sectors. Despite the potential for moving large quantities of energy sources like oil and gas, as well as minerals and manufactured goods, critics argue that these benefits may not justify the massive initial expenditures. So where does that leave us? Well, in the end, the vision of a Bering Strait link is a bold reminder of both our ambitions and our limits. Connecting the U.S. and Russia across icy waters could transform global trade, opening new routes and reshaping entire industries. But it comes at a monumental cost trillions of dollars, intense logistics, political friction, and harsh natural forces. So, what do you think? Will we one day see a bridge or tunnel connecting Russia and the U.S.? Or is this dream destined to remain just that, a dream? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the world's most ambitious construction projects. Thanks for watching.